What's up everyone, Terraquake here, and this is a new type of video for me, and I guess you guys too. So everyone has their favorite Pokemon, whether it be Charizard, Trubbish, any kind of Pokemon, you know, someone out there probably likes it. And I've been wanting to do a top 10 favorite Pokemon video for a while, or basically just a top 10 in general. However, I didn't want it to be, you know, a bland old top 10 favorite Pokemon video like a lot of people have done. So, I have decided to split this up into a series. I will be doing my top 5 favorite Pokemon from every region starting today with the Kanto region. Now, the Kanto region is of course the OG region. It's what started everything. It has many great Pokemon that are also very iconic, but I have 5 in particular that stand out to me the most. However, before we get started, I do want to give some honorable mentions. Before we get started, obviously you might be able to tell that my voice sounds a bit different, and that is because I am recording this off of my computer, which is not what I normally do, and I don't have any fancy microphones or equipment like that, so I'm sort of just straight up recording this off my computer. I hope this still sounds good, let me know in the comment sections below if it sounds fine. But without further ado, let's list off these awesome Pokemon. To start us off, we have Rhydon, and Come on, Rhydon is just a really cool Pokemon, and I know a lot of people might hate its evolution, but personally, I love Rhyperior, and that's just going to boost Rhydon's attention to me even more, so yeah, that's why it gets an honorable mention. Next up is Mewtwo, and yes, I am including every single Pokemon from Generation, including Legendaries, and Mewtwo, not that it's like the coolest looking Pokemon, I just love its backstory and how you can see like all the stuff from the... Pokemon Mansion on Cinnabar Island. I just like its backstory. That's what makes me like it so much. My third honorable mention is Primate because I just love its personality in the anime. It's freaking awesome. So yeah, Primate, you get a spot because of that. My last honorable mention goes to Blastoise because, first of all, it is my favorite Kanto starter, obviously, and you're a turtle who has cannons on your back that shoots water. That is amazing. So, of course, you're gonna get an honorable mention. Alright, to actually start off this list, at number 5, we have the Legendary Bird Trio. So, obviously these guys are pretty cool, but not only are they cool, they were also the very first Legendary Trio introduced because they're in Generation 1, which makes them even better. And not only that, but in the new Expansion Pass trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield, we got Galarian forms for them. Let me say, these things look absolutely incredible. You can bet that I'm going to be catching uh, these guys when I play through uh, the expansion passes because they look awesome. I mean, they were cool at first. Maybe they weren't on my top 5 Kanto Pokemon, but Galarian Forge just, man, they look sick. Next up, at number 4, we have the one and only big man himself, Snorlax. Come on, what is there not to love about this Pokemon? He is probably one of the most, if not the most iconic Pokemon in Generation 1. And he's just a huge Pokemon that loves to sleep and eat. That's all he does. His personality in the anime just makes you laugh. And, you know, you have the chance twice to catch him in the games. And, I mean, yeah, he's just iconic. And that's what does it for me. That's why he's number 4 on this list. Coming up at number 3, we have... Eevee. Now, this Pokemon is just adorable, what can I say? Pokemon Let's Go Eevee just really did it for me, it just showed off the cuteness of this Pokemon. But, of course, it's got one of the most unique evolution methods there is, which is, you know, the option to evolve it into plenty of different forms, uh, depending on, you know, the stone you use, or uh, the friendship, anything like that. It's just a really awesome Pokemon, and again, a very iconic Pokemon, that's what a lot of these Pokemon are on the list are because it's Generation 1, let's be honest. But yeah, Eevee, just an adorable Pokemon, and it's a very cool one. I like how in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, you, you know, in normal games it doesn't have a good move set, but in that game, you could teach it all these like special moves from these move tutors, which is pretty awesome. Now, I haven't played those games yet, but when I do, I'm definitely choosing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee because I want to use this Eevee. For the runners-up spot, at number two, I have Slowpoke. And Slowpoke, first of all, I've used this 
Pokemon before twice during when I played through Pokemon. And it's a very strong Pokemon, definitely when it evolves. But also it's just as derpiness. Someone come on in the anime, it's just like, yeah, whatever. Like, I don't know, it's just, the derpiness really does it for me. I also like its branched evolution, how you have options, you can either, you know, level it up the normal way, go to slow, slow bro, which is a very strong Pokemon, or go the other way with the King's Rock and get Slow King, another very cool Pokemon. But Slowpoke, really, I mean, he's the start of it, he's very derpy, he's hilarious. And I know it's another water type on this list, but... Um, and I don't know, it's, what can I say, it's the most common type in Pokemon, so, yeah, Slowpoke, it's derpiness, really does it for me, so, yeah, he's the runner's-up spot. Now, my number one personal favorite Pokemon in the whole Kanto region is Charizard, because it's definitely not extremely overrated, it definitely doesn't get paid the most attention to by Game Freak, you got two Mega Evolutions, and I got a Gigantamax one, because it's just so awesome, it's like a fire-breathing dragon, like, everyone loves it, everyone picks Charmander, it's so cool. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what that thing is. Just get it off the screen. Ew. My real number one favorite Pokemon in the Kanto region is Kingler. Now, here's the story of Kingler. I have never used this Pokemon before. But you know what really does it for me? Well, first of all, before Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, this Pokemon was probably just, you know, my average, typical. Yeah, it's cool, but it's not definitely not my favorite or anything. And then I saw his Gigantamax form. <laughs> that just completely blew me away. My goodness. Is that thing awesome? It gets like, you know, all the spikes around his body or whatever that is. He's got the white stuff coming out of his mouth. You know how crabs do. It is just epic. And I can't believe it's probably one of my, if not my favorite, Gigantamax form. I don't have all the Gigantamax form down in my memory, but definitely one of the coolest ones and it just completely changed my whole perspective on Kingler because like I said I just saw it as a pretty cool crab Pokemon you know it's a good water type and then I just saw this thing holy cow I didn't even know it had a, had a Gigantamax form until recently and man it's now my new favorite Kanto Pokemon what can I say man so for that Kingler is my number one favorite Kanto Pokemon and there is my top 5 favorite Pokemon from the Kanto region. And this is a brand new video for me. I've never really done a top 5 or top 10 video, obviously. So it'd be very appreciated if you guys could leave your feedback on it. Let me know, did you like the video? Did you hate it? Uh, I sure enjoyed making it. And yeah, I'm. if you guys liked it, I'll do this for every single region because I know most of the Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But anyways, yeah, like I said, I had fun making it. Please leave your feedback. I'd like to know if you guys liked it or not. But that is all. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.